If you love listening to podcasts to learn, today I want to show you an app that's going to blow your mind and change the way you listen to podcasts and learn from them. And if you're anything like me, you've probably experienced the frustration of trying to take notes on the podcast that you listen to in an efficient way and come back to them when you want to review them. I've tried it all from pausing and writing down timestamps for myself to figure out where to re-listen, but it doesn't work well if you're driving or working out and trying to capture those notes or the bookmarks while on the go. And this is where air comes in. I just love the fact that I can finally highlight audio segments to capture notes and even transcripts from what I'm listening to. I've done a video before on the note-taking system that I use for audiobooks, and while it's great and efficient for when you're listening to books on Audible or Scribd, I can't wait until this functionality from Air comes to those apps for their audiobooks. So check this out. While listening to a podcast, Air gives you a transcript that you can follow along with for a lot of popular shows. And the transcription is not always perfect, but it's good enough to find the topics and sections within an episode of the podcast you're listening to if it's one that doesn't do detailed show notes of their own. The air quotes section of the app keeps all of your podcast highlights organized with any notes you've taken so that you can see what stood out to you across your whole library in a glance. Even better though, is that you can highlight audio sections, which creates a bookmark and allows you to either pull in the transcription or make your own note on what they're talking about at that timestamp. And they've got a quick capture setting for you, so if you're using your headphones, or you can tell Siri to save the last 30 seconds or so of the podcast as a highlight based on your preference. Now an additional boost that makes Air even better is that it syncs with Readwise, which is another amazing app and service, but that means that you can automatically have your podcasts imported into your commonplace library, whether you use Evernote or Notion or Roam, so that that knowledge gets saved amongst everything else that you're learning and you can refer back to. And this is one way to have those notes show up in your daily highlights feed for spaced repetition. I know that it can be scary to change up the podcast player that you use, especially if you've got a big library of what you like to listen to, the way that I usually do. And Air allows you to import your library of subscriptions from other podcast players but I'll also say that sometimes, you know, it's good to do a fresh restart on your queue of podcasts, especially if the list has been expanding for some time, the way mine tends to, and it gets to the point of being overwhelming. So think about what you're curious to learn more about right now in this moment, and then dive in with air to take your podcast notes to the next level. I hope that you found this video helpful. And as somebody who is constantly learning, I'm always seeking out ways to bring all the information and ideas together. So if this helped, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I'll put out more videos on different learning methods and different ways of taking more efficient notes. And until the next video, find your flow.